This is Chris Kelly with our training presentation on what to expect as a peak challenge marketing coach. All right, I call you a marketing coach because I feel like everybody that I work with, regardless of what position that they're in, are good examples and good coaches first. If the person is going to buy our training service from you, um, they are going to look upon you as an example, somebody that they view as a healthy individual and somebody that they want to emulate to some level or to, of another. So if I'm working with you, I know that these are values that you uphold as well, and I'm proud uh, to have you along for the journey here. So the basic gist of what we're doing is that we're selling a service called Daily Personal Trainer. Daily Personal Trainer is a 10 minute body weight workout that can be done in your home with little to no equipment. All right? It's scaled for various levels. So literally anyone from um, someone that hasn't exercised in 30 years to the highest level of athlete can perform these workouts. All right? And the reason that we created this was because we had the number one objection that I hear to working out is that you simply don't have time. All right? People perceive that exercise takes 60 minutes. Um, people don't want to go to gyms necessarily. So it, it's, it's a hard sell, especially when we're trying to get them in at specific times and specific days. And it just becomes almost possible but if I were to say to you do you have 10 minutes to exercise uh, per day um, you don't have to leave your house you don't have to put on clothes nothing you know most people would say yes because what we're trying to do is break down a lot of the barriers that potentially exist for fitness um, the first barrier would be time okay um, the reality is these workouts are extremely intense um, they're 10 minutes in nature they they you get them in your email every day and these are things that you can do based upon your level so if you work as hard as you can in, um, you're going to achieve results and we've had people lose up to 30 pounds on this you know um, improve their blood blood uh, sugar test testing scores you know in very cholesterol levels other you know and various other things so I know that if we pack as much work as we can into 10 minutes intensity trumps the volume you know over maybe 60 minutes of walking in a treadmill the other objection that I hear a lot is cost personal training is expensive where this sir whereas this service is fifteen dollars a month all right so that's a couple trips to McDonald's and that's something that I think everybody could afford so really with the market that we're trying to approach number one are busy people um, that don't necessarily have time to get to a gym because they can do this anywhere and number two we also have uh, you know people that just maybe are not comfortable in gyms you know maybe ha they haven't worked out in a long time you know maybe they just don't like that atmosphere even if you're talking about a personal training studio so this this is a way for them to be active without ever having to um, you know set foot in a place that is associated with exercise so we just the goal is to make fitness accessible and that's really what we're trying to do with this product so in order to begin we're going to talk a little bit about the background of why I created this and then how we market so this is an image that I always use with presentations um, that I give for new clients. All right? We have um, pretty much the symbol of inspiration for weight loss that I hear, I've heard a billion times. Um, and this is a big controversy in the fitness industry. Trainers hate the biggest loser, okay? And I think for good reason, simply because some of the things that they do on this show are outlandish, and that's a whole other presentation. But when we're looking at these two individuals, or the, the same person actually, we see a dramatic transformation where this woman clearly has lost you know a ton of weight she looks fantastic and the amazing thing is this happened over the span of 12 weeks okay the show is a 12 week show um, it's something where you know these people are literally put through um, the grinder in this period of time and you know people contestants will lose up to 50 percent of their body weight so there's no doubt that it works but the problem with that is that these people are working on an average of eight to ten hours a day um, they have on-site st on staff nutritionists and they're also paid to appear um, in this program so this uh, along with behavioral counseling for you know when they go off the rails so all of these components um, are set up for this person to be successful but after this initial 12 week period my question is what happens okay and this is what we see with the majority of people that try to change in January or try to make a, a dramatic change like this person here number one you don't have a, a thousands of dollars to hire all these people and number two when we try to change our diet our, our schedule our exercise levels all of these things that we've when we've been active inactive for so long it's like like trying to build a house on a poor foundation you just can't support it necessarily so that's why people you know are successful maybe two weeks 
you know, and then burn out, all right? And, and that's what I see all the time. So the whole goal with Daily Personal Trainer and all of the information in the presentations that we give through this program is accessibility, all right? We don't want to overwhelm somebody, but if we give them little snippets, um, something that they can incorporate so easily into their life that it's almost effortless, like a 10-minute workout, then the person is much more likely to be successful, all right? And that kind of lends itself to some of the factors that we see um, that are disconnects from fitness. So when we talk about why fitness fails, uh, we have three factors that we want to look at. Number one, schedule. Uh, workouts take way too long. Okay, most people um, will spend you know 30 minutes walking on a treadmill, and that is a really poor use of time. Um, you know, and after as a as a result, the perception is that the person doesn't have time to exercise. That also leads to reactive eating. Okay, so if I'm not if I'm not working out, oftentimes I'm not mindful of what's going on, or if I'm in a hurry, you know, I just pick up whatever is around, okay, and that's a vicious cycle because those two things contribute to one another. The other part of it is support. Um, people see working out as boring, okay, they don't have friends that are into fitness, and you know, oftentimes family members as well. So if those things, if the person has never had the necessary influences to push them into a more successful position, then it's no wonder they're out of shape. And then the other part of it is self-care. Um, you know, and even for those listening to this presentation, I want you to ask yourself, when was the last time you got a good night's sleep? Um, that is a, such a crucial thing because sleep levels influence cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone that our body holds, causes us to hold on to more fat, and it also causes us to make poor dietary decisions as well. Okay, because we're just not thinking about it so much. Um, the, and the other part of it is a stressful environment. If I'm bathing my body in stress all the time, I'm going to be more of a victim of reactive eating. I'm going to be more emotional. And all of those things contribute to why these things fail. And the whole purpose behind our daily personal trainer program, not only um, in the sense of making workouts accessible, is just using simple nutrition, um, simple fitness, and simple support strategies for the person to be successful. And what happens when you sign up for the program is that you're invited to a closed Facebook group where there are all these people um, that are members of Peak Fitness um, and that are also doing the challenge that are posting their scores in there. You meet people that are doing the same thing as you do. You're getting, you, you have the opportunity to meet workout buddies and find people that have that kind of support. You're also given the opportunity to interact with me, um, the coach, which allows you, again, to get maybe substitute for workouts or, or give me feedback, whatever it may be. So you get that support component without having having to be there. We also include a simple nutrition plan that is so, it, it, and it's not necessarily like eat this, eat that. We don't give somebody a diet. We give them flexible guidelines that allow them to self-correct and, and fit things into their life without hugely changing what they eat. So the goal with all of these things is to make fitness accessible. And when you are selling this program, I want you to think about that theme. All right, the, the whole idea is not to overwhelm somebody. So if if their objection is, oh, I just don't have time to work out, you say, well, do you have 10 minutes? Most people are going to say yes. And it's all about overcoming these barriers as to why somebody wouldn't buy this or would not participate in something like this. And for most of us, you know, if we boil it down to these simple things, you know, then we can start to have a conversation where we, we empower the person and we make it possible. And I have a lot of clients on this program who would never be able to see me otherwise. They're, they they work long jobs. You know, the only time that they work out literally is the 10 minutes that they do in the morning or the 10 minutes in the evening. So, you know, again, this this the whole thing is empowering people to be successful and to fit this stuff back into their lives. And I'm really proud of that part of our program. So some, some facts about our daily circuit. Uh, we talked about a lot of stuff already, but the idea is to provide people the ability to exercise without the burden of equipment or time. The circuit is emailed uh, every morning at 4 a.m. So it's in your email box, um, you know, the person can find it. And what we also do is we have an FAQ up or a FAQ up um, in the Peak uh, Challenge group where the person can actually uh, access a web page that has all the workouts on there as well. We're also inviting our members to a closed Facebook group, the Peak Challenge, where they can interact with me and with workout buddies. Uh, if somebody has concerns about, oh, I can't do this, you know, I have a back injury or whatever it may be, our workouts are scaled for beginners, um, intermediate, and advanced. And we also even have a, a tune-up program for individuals that just need that initially. So there are literally, you know, if somebody has chronic back pain, we can help that, okay? We can not necessarily fix it, but we can alleviate it to a great degree, all right? So... 
there's always a way to do things and you know I think that that's going to be key is, is selling it that way so this is just kind of a primer on uh, and, and I tell people you know be, start with the beginner workout and then move up as you get a little bit better so um, always advise the person to be conservative in terms of their actions and when you when we sign them up they're going to get a ton of information to help them to guide them in this journey and they're also going to be able to ask me questions so it's it's pretty easy once we kind of get them in the loop so let's talk your your marketing duties okay we know what we're selling now how do we sell it number one is we want to prospect prospect social media all right our our, our marketing strategy revolves around 30-day challenges every 30 days we do something like an abs challenge where we have people take like a before and after selfie or we do a push-up challenge where we say the most improvement from day one to day 30 in, in terms of the number of push-ups that you do you know a person's gonna win a free um, data spa so there are a lot of different things that we give away uh, in order to entice people to be successful so every 30 days what we're going to do is we're going to prospect both Facebook and Twitter um, in order to recruit new clients okay and we're gonna I'm gonna elaborate a lot on that but there are a lot of groups on Facebook and pages that are associated with weight loss challenges and network marketing products and things that have to do with what we're trying to sell so if I were to go into one of these groups and I say I'm doing an abs challenge you know I'm interested in um, getting some volunteers you know I, I went to one group that I think had maybe uh, 30,000 people in it, which was huge. I, I posted immediately, I got about 50 responses. So, I mean, it literally is like fishing. It's just a matter of posting the right thing uh, about our challenge. Most people don't bulk at the price of $15. Um, that, that's manageable for, for most people. Uh, the biggest thing with doing this is just following up. Now with Twitter, you're you're going to be able to you're going to be able to search keywords, okay? And what I'll do um, when I'm prospecting is I'll say, all right, I'll, I'll search for the word like I want a personal trainer or I need to lose uh, body fat or something like that, and you'll actually be given all of the users that posted with that in the last several days. All you do is you you retweet or you you respond to their tweet, okay, and you give them the necessary information. So really, a lot of this is just going to be following up. That's going to be uh, a big thing. And what I'm gonna what I do is I give you a website with our information. Um, I give you just a basic message to send them, you know, and then just follow up with them and say, you know, did you sign up? We'll be able to see whether or not they did, you know, and, and then we both get paid, and, and that's going to be the main thing. But again, you know, we just want to make sure that uh, that we follow up and we kind of stay on these people because sometimes, you know, people need a little nudge. The other part of it is um, just making keeping the people interested. Okay, um, education is always the best way to sell something. So we we have frequent events for our clients. Uh, <coughs> I blog every day. Um, it's just things that are keeping them interested. So for example, posting questions in our challenge group. Um, private messaging you know these people the more we can keep them engaged the longer they're going to be our clients that's really the bottom line and these a lot of these things can be set up through social media programs like Hootsuite so you don't you don't really have to do anything other than maybe set these things up over a period of several weeks so there's a lot of different ways to go about it it's just holding people to the fire and maintaining accountability so when we talk about strategies, we have two. All right, our online strategy is to offer a 30-day challenge, okay, either fitness or something to do with abs, okay, because we have both a um, daily personal trainer, which is a again a body weight circuit that kind of involves a more total body workout. And we also have a circuit called Abs Reveal Daily, which are, which are ab circuits, okay, and those are specifically for people that want to get a flat stomach and want to kind of eliminate the abdominal pooch. That's something that I hear a lot. Uh, what we do is uh, we post our offer, whatever we decide to do as a challenge that month, in a, in these Facebook groups and across social media. You know, you can post it on your profile. You could have your friends share it. But again, what we, what we want to do is come up with some unique challenges that will get people interested. Um, the, really, and the sell is the same. I mean, we, we publish these circuits every month anyway. So, you know, we just try to spin it with a certain theme. And so every 30 days, you know, the goal is to get people in because inevitably, you know, people are going to be coming in and out. So we just want to look at, you know, what groups can we use to recruit repeatedly, 
you know, what are some different challenges that we can use to keep people interested. In terms of our local strategy, um, it's very similar. We also do 30-day challenges. The difference being is the difference being is that locally we can partner with businesses, okay, to host monthly challenges. So, for example, if I'm doing a before and after abs challenge, I could partner with a spa and a photographer and say, okay, the the winner gets a photo shoot and a day at a spa. Okay, and that way, you know, we can put our stuff out in the spa, you know, maybe we give we do some advertisement for them through our service and that that makes everybody happy. And I'm willing to, you know, offer things like training for the members of the spa, whatever it is, but it's just partnering with local businesses to facilitate and, and contribute prizes to our monthly challenges. What we also want to think about doing is co-hosting challenge parties and events with local health product distributors. So we're looking at <coughs> products such as Advocare, Body by Vi, um, you know these these wraps, uh, it works wraps, things of that nature that involve a challenge component. Because by partnering with the, these things, you know we have a captive audience that are already interested in health and fitness. And really, all it comes down to is we we have the ability to just play a five minute video at the end of their challenge party to get people interested in our product. Okay, so there are a lot of different ways to do that. So when we're looking at our first marketing strategy, we have social media. All right, we have Twitter and Facebook, and as discussed with Facebook, Facebook has literally hundreds of groups that are devoted to weight loss challenges, nutrition, abs, all of these things that really encompass what we're trying to do. So when you're thinking about um, when you're thinking about what to look for, using you want to use the uh, the search tab at the top of your Facebook window. What happens is simply type in abs challenge. Or you can click enter, and you'll be given the ability to search for groups. All right, we're looking for groups ideally with anywhere from 500 to whatever members. 500 plus is kind of the cutoff for me. And what I'm looking also for is once I join the group, I request to join the group, <coughs> and I look for activity. Okay, are they posting in the group every day? Or is the group pretty silent? Okay, we're looking for very active groups where we're going to get people to respond. And I'll send you a couple examples of that, but that's what we're looking at. So just think words such as weight loss challenge, okay, uh, abs, abs challenge, um, you know, different network marketing products, body by buy challenge, advocate challenge, things that, things that are challenge groups related to what they're doing. Okay, and we, what we want to do is identify the groups that are active so we can post in those groups and garner, um, you know, responses. <coughs> with Twitter, the difference is that with Twitter, we can actually search Twitter for a keyword. So, like, say for example, I wanted a personal training client. I could, I could search for the phrase, I want a personal trainer. And that would bring me, you know, the 50 people on Twitter that you that tweeted that statement for the last several days. I could simply respond or direct mess respond to or <coughs> direct message those people, and we could we could start a conversation. So think about again the same terms: weight loss, abs challenge, things that encompass what we're trying to do, and then you know that's the marketing that we're looking at. Our next strategy is partnering with online distributors. Okay, and these are distributors for products such as <coughs> Body by Vi, Advocare, different network marketing products that involve a challenge component. What we want to do is partner with them and offer them either a cut of the product or of the profit or complimentary online training. Um, we also do online personal training so we can create personalized programs for those people. Um, you know, to to experience every month, and for them, this is a low cost exercise upgrade for their program. Most of these products don't necessarily have an exercise component, so it gives them. You know, if somebody's spending a hundred dollars <coughs> on a shake several days a week, or on a shake for a month, um, you know, taking a shake every day, then they're really not going to bat an eye. Oftentimes, at fifteen dollars. When we're talking about a cut of the profit, what we want to make clear is that they will receive that for the duration of the client's lifetime. All right, the pro our product is fifteen dollars. So if that person made say five dollars of that, all right, that might not be much initially. But the client is if is if the client is a member for three years, you know, then that adds up and it, it becomes a great source of passive income. We have a very high retention rate because our you know we keep our clients engaged. And our price is very, very low. You know that's why these ten-dollar gym memberships work. Is that people pay ten dollars, 
you know, and they, they just forget about it, you know, and that's not our goal. We definitely want to keep our members engaged, but by the same token, you know, that is one of the one of the big benefits that we offer. So in terms of strategy, <laughs> we want to make a list of people of distributors um, through the Facebook search option. You can do searches like body by by distributors, Advocare distributors, and you know, a whole a whole slew of groups will come up um, with those. And there there are many many groups that have been created to talk strategy with those people, um, you know, between distributors, and that will give us an idea. <coughs> Of where we could go and again it's it's simply the idea of either posting a message that we're looking to partner with distributors or messaging them individually later on so I like to I like to do fact finding and just kind of again watch how active the group is and then that'll that'll tell me whether I message the individuals um, one by one <coughs> or whether I'm posting in the group <coughs> what you could also do is make a list of distributors by doing a you know a simple Google search and then emailing them through their websites. For me, I found that Facebook is a much better option uh, when we're trying to get a quick reply. But again, the you know the emailing works as well. It just allows us to do our homework and see who's really serious or not. For strategy three, again, we're using the same basic um, incentives. You know, we can offer personal training to the person since they are local to Lakeland, or you know we can also offer them online training and you know they, they get the same cut of the online product as well <coughs> the strategy would be to partner with uh, individuals that have challenge parties okay and you know it, it, these challenge parties typically what happens is that they're gonna play a video about the product talking about its benefits and whatnot and all we do is then, you know, piggyback off of that idea. You know, I, I record, I've recorded a short uh, five minute presentation called the Lean Body Blueprint that viewers can see online. We simply play that at their party. What you could also do is approach them and say, you know, I, I have access to all of these people through Peak Fitness. You know, I'd like to co-host a party um, at Peak with you. And that way, you know, we could get some of our clients there. We could get their clients there and we could co-host. You know, and again, kind of start the uh, start the idea that way. So there, there are a lot of different ways that we could do that, but we would just want to start thinking about who locally or who online could help us to, to disseminate our information. And again, the pitch is pretty simple. Uh, we have a five-minute video that we play that re that explains the uh, the benefits of the program. You know, if this is a local thing and we do it with Peak, <coughs> I could certainly come. You know, and explain that stuff as well. But uh, what we can, what we do for these people, and as well for you as a, you know, as a coach, is we set up an individual affiliate link where the person can send that, send them through that gateway. You know, and when they pay, you know, the the proper cut will go to you or go to your distributor. So that's kind of the way it works, and that's how we set things up. Now, the next the next part of this is keeping the challengers engaged. All right, a, a big portion of um, this this program is going to be signing people up, but the other part of it is just doing daily stuff to keep people interested. What will happen, and and I take care of most of that because what happens once the challengers are um, invite or sign up is that they're they're invited to a closed Facebook group. Okay, and in, in our Facebook groups, I schedule daily posts to go out via a social media program called Hootsuite. So every day, you know, there are there are posts on nutrition, health, whatever it may be. As as a distributor, or I'm sorry, as a coach, um, you know, going the extra mile. What you can also do is calling your clients out. What I like to do at the end of each day is I'll just make a funny post or something related to something that happened at our gym, and I'll tag several people in that post. Okay, that gets a discussion started because it's personalized for them. <coughs> And it's providing the online accountability to think that, hey, this person is thinking about me. What what also happens frequently is that you know people will have issues with certain exercises, or there'll be questions about something a certain thing, and we post substitutes or refer them to you know YouTube examples that kind of cover that area. What you could do is that if we create an individual challenge group for you, so say you know we wanted to start another group, we would create a group for you. You know I would be in there as well posting. Um, but what we could also do is that when somebody has a question, all you would do is respond. You know tag me in that post, and that keeps the you know then I would then I would answer. But the bottom line is, 
I'll provide most of the information um, and post in all of these groups. What I need you to do is simply, you know, call your clients out at the end of the day. Maybe just let them know that you're in there as well. Be a good advocate for this that for these things because the more we can keep people engaged, the longer they will be clients and the more money we're going to make for each of us. We also have a referral policy when signing new people up, and it's definitely something to mention uh, when <coughs> when they sign up. When when we when the, somebody signs up with their friend, they get 50% off that first month. Um, if they sign up with two people, they're going to get that for free. Make sure you mention this frequently. Now, if we're in if you're in Lakelands, what we offer with our program is a free um, Saturday workout. So Saturdays between 10 a.m. and 1 1 p.m., um, we do a something called a Saturday Throwdown which is just a boot camp style workout that allows everybody to get together, meet up, you know, meet with me and be held accountable. And those are things where, you know, if you have new prospects that are thinking about being interested, you know, invite them to our events. You know, we, we start an event on Facebook every week um, for the Saturday Throwdown, you know, maybe bring some new people every week. And that's a good way to, you know, bring in prospects, you bring them in, let me sell them, whatever. But that's the bottom line is that that gives us a way to um, keep in contact with our even our online clients on a weekly basis. <laughs> the last component of our of, of our keeping clients accountable and kind of keeping them engaged are our challenge contests. Every 30 days, uh, we're going to do a challenge of some type. Okay, it could be a push-up challenge. It might be a before and after abs challenge. But for our initial 30-day challenge, we simply ask the clients to participate. All right. They say it takes 21 days to form a habit. So I want somebody posting for 21 out of our 30 day cycles. Okay. And that's just some update. You know, it could be their workout score, how they did that day, or it could be, you know, where they went shopping that day, whatever it may be. I just want them checking in and participating. If they do this for 21 days out of the 30 days, we're going to mail them a Peak Fitness t shirt. Okay. So it's something <coughs> tangible that they can wear around to know you know that they met that challenge and then with initial challenges or the initial challenges that go on you know we give away things every month you know trips to spas cash whatever it may be that keeps the person you know in the loop and it gives it people incentives to post their information to stay engaged so to wrap things up steps for success all right number one in ter online what i want you to do is identify f at least five prospects that are either local or online that you that are your first clients <coughs> by doing this all right you can start to kind of build um, word of mouth buzz you know having them share your stuff on their pages getting them signed up feel free to give them free trials if that would help you know I'm, I'm completely open to that but you know initially I want to know that you can bring in that number I want to know that you know you know how to um, identify people that are interested in this these are people that um, it would be you know good prospects or people that you you bring in online your friends whatever it may be it doesn't matter I just want to know you know that you're able to generate prospects on your own so with our marketing strategies you know you're go you're going to be more effective more effective in terms of retention number 2 is we want to set up a facebook and twitter account certainly you can use your own but you can also set up one specifically for this purpose from there <coughs> we identify 3 to 5 online groups to post in i need to identify keywords for searching on twitter and then we post these challenges every 30 days. All right. Once you have your people, once they've posted, um, you know, below your message, uh, what I want you to do is just follow up with them. Okay. Group message them, send them the information, and then about two to three days later, follow up with them and say, you know, did you sign up? You know, how was it? And we'll get an idea of, of how that was going. For, in terms of working with the distributors, it's the same idea. <coughs> You want to identify the groups to post in as well as a list of distributors and network marketing products. In terms of online steps, to, or in, I'm sorry, in terms of in-person steps to success, the strategy is largely the same. Identify five local prospects that would be a good fit for our program. From there, we also want to identify a list of, of local businesses to support our challenges. <coughs> local businesses provide both um, advertisements as well as prizes for what we're doing. So what, what I think about doing 
It's creating a calendar of challenges that kind of facilitate and allow us to partner or facilitate these partnerships. For example, before and after ab challenges, you know, we could approach spas, salons, photographers, you know, push-up challenges we could do, sporting goods stores, um, health products, different things like that. So just during the different times of the year, you know, we could do seasonal things. We could do a uh, skinny jeans challenge where we partner with a jeans store or a wedding challenge where we partner with a wedding store. So there are a lot of different ideas that, that uh, we can do. But the bottom line is these are definitely big ways to allow us to get out to a lot more people, particularly women. <coughs> we also want to identify a list of local distributors uh, with whom we can partner uh, to do challenge parties. So that, that really, you know, the, the two things work together. And, you know, if you're local, then you'll have both components available to you. But there's no reason why, you know, if you're not located in Lakeland, you can't do this in your own local community as well. <coughs> So with that, uh, allow me to welcome you to the family. I'm sorry I've got a bit of a cold if I'm coughing a lot on this presentation, but uh, these are individuals uh, that have been with me since the very beginning. Um, all of these people in this photo were with me, I think, two weeks into my business. This was taken about five years ago now. And this, the, all of these people, my mom's on the far left there, are still training today. So I'm really proud of them, and this is what we hope for all of our clients. So... <coughs> I'm here to support you. Uh, please feel free to email me with any questions. You know, I'm always I'm always only as you know a text or an email away. You know, and I'm I'm definitely looking to having success in working together.